Frank Haith Show. Brought to you by Pepsi, Don Thornton Cadillac, TTCU, The Credit Union, River Spirit, and St. Francis Health System. And now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and we welcome you to the Frank Haith Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the basketball coach at the University of Tulsa, Frank Haith, and we're going to re review two games, a Wichita game at home, Wichita State, and then, of course, UCF on Senior Day. But what an ending for your team on Sunday as, as you get the buzzer beater, the half-court shot, uh, but you don't win that game without battling and, and, and scraping and scratching and clawing and staying in that game at the end. Yeah, it was a tremendous focus. Um, you know, we didn't have, we didn't play a perfect game by no means, but we, we played extremely hard. And uh, I don't know that you could write a better script than that for a senior to make a, you know, be the hero in a game like that. But, uh, but it was a lot of guys that made a lot of plays, Bruce, that gave us a chance. I mean, Nikita's hustle plays, or Sam finally getting going. I mean, everybody contributed to that, that win against Central Florida. Absolutely, and we will review Wichita State coming up next right here at the Reynolds Center. By the way, they're the opponent coming up in the American Athletic Conference Tournament. We'll be back in a moment. We welcome you back to the Frank Haith Show. And coach, the uh, game in the midweek was against Wichita State, a team you battled up in Wichita, lost by 10. What was your approach coming into this game as you close out the regular season? Well, we were coming off four straight road games and we felt like we needed to finish strong here with these two last last two games at home, but going in the conference tournament. And uh, we got to a great start, start. We just didn't shoot the ball well from three in that ball game, but our energy, our focus was really good. And I thought to start this ball game. Well, the Golden Hurricane taking on Wichita, and it is the longest rivalry for TU. TU has played nobody more than the Wichita State Shockers. And here in the early going, as you mentioned, Coach, you did get off to a good start. You know, we're sharing the ball. That's a nice drive, baseline drive. Uh, T up there by Ray. Uh, but, but look at the crisp ball movement, and, and they switched one through four, so we had some isos with dry on, the, on smaller guys in the post, and we knew we were going to be able to have that in this ball game. Uh, but they, this is the start of something that really hurts was the rebounding, and Udesi really hurt us on the glass as a number of those guys did. Nice job here on the pick and roll, and Nikita Konstantinovsky gets the, the layup, and that makes it 7-3 Tulsa, and that was emotional because Nikita came out with the Ukrainian flag to start the game. Yeah, and just in dry is, you know, maybe our best pick and roll player now and making that pass off a ball screen without our point guard, true point guard, and it's good to see Nikita finish that. Darian Jackson with a nice shot and uh, shot fake, if you will, and, and that only happens because he's now a threat outside. He's now a threat. People are running at him. And, but it was a nice seal play there by uh, Nikita. But outstanding uh, pass by Dry and nice uh, moving off the ball by Drain. Well, that made it an 11-6 ball game, but back comes Wichita State. Obviously, Etienne is a very good shooter. Very good shooter, and he got going in this ball game here in the first half. Again, we talked about Dry because they switch so much and have an opportunity with smaller guys and taking advantage of that. So after that 7-0 run, Jariah Horn able to get that done to make it 13-13. Wichita State's up by three and Jariah makes another one. Yeah, that's a tough shot right there, but uh, Jariah is capable of making that shot. You're going to have to, in the tournament, get some good performances out of this man. Ray Edowu, and when he does this sort of stuff, he's really good. Yeah, and we and Udesi's such a threat for them all offensively. We've got to make him play some defense, and that was a good move by Ray. And we'll have another Ray Edowu basket here. Is, again, it's Darian Jackson, a threat going inside and getting it to Big Ray. We talked about playing off two feet, not just spitting that ball up and being patient, and that was a nice play by DJ. We're going down the backstretch here in the first half, and Etienne with a pretty well-guarded shot, but he made it. Yeah, he, he's, um, he's a talent. That was at the end of the shot clock, too. It was a tough, tough possession there for us. So a little bit less than three minutes to go here in the half, and that basket makes it a one-point game, but then the final, what, three minutes of this half just didn't go your way. Well, defensively, we had some breakdowns, and we took some tough shots. You know, that was one right there where we, you know, and I think that's something we, we learn, we got to learn from, uh, continue to learn, is that when we have adversity, we don't need to, uh, try to take the game on by ourselves and individually and continue to do what we're doing. Yeah, so after a good start, you're down by nine at halftime, and again, there's your shooting. Wichita State shooting too well, and your team not shooting well enough. Exactly. We didn't make any threes in the first half, and I think we ended up only make, going three for 18, 
but that's a big part of our, what we do, and we just didn't shoot it well. So we go to the second half now, and Jariah Horn will get this loose ball eventually off of the pass from Jackson and pump in a three-pointer for you. Yeah, it's a big shot we needed that. We're down 11. Uh, they scored first bucket in the second half, and, and now you can see us kind of get back to what we are doing earlier. Playing off two feet, you know, sharing the ball, a nice shot by Jariah. So Jariah Horn with that bucket to make it a 10-point game, and now you've got a chance to get it down to eight, and it's Jariah Horn again. Yeah, nice, nice. Actually, Jariah just took that off the bounce from rebound and finished. And again, Wichita State scoring some baskets, but you're running some good offense here. Yeah, we're getting, you know, we're getting moving on drives and getting some back cuts, and and we're, we're sharing the ball, so we're getting, we're having some good possessions. And that's a good play. Both of those, look at those guys. That's what we got to do: share the ball, shot fake, squeeze the defense, play off two feet, and and, and then we'll get have an opportunity for shots like this. A uh, good muscular play by Curtis Haywood, and he's knocked the lead down to four at that point. But then there was a little bit of a, a, a drought, really, for both teams. But you've seen Wichita State has kind of moved it out a little bit, and that boy, you needed that, didn't you? We did. Drain uh, nice separation. We we've asked him to shot fake more, and uh, and he shot fakes and makes a big three. That makes it a ten point game, and you still have time. There's just less than five minutes remaining in the game, and Drain has done a nice job cutting to the basket too, huh? Yeah, we, we're getting some good plays at the rim, uh, moving off the ball. Uh, it's good to see our guys share that ball. Well, you see the score at 65-57, uh, and Morris Udeze was just too strong inside. And it was not only what he did there, but all, obviously all of the rebounding, as the rebounding uh, was huge in favor of Wichita State in a 10-point game. Yeah, and, and they, you know, like I said, Udeze was a load in there, and we just, we, you know, we got to play him in the tournament, so we got to do something different in how we defend him. Well, and you see the uh, rebounding. I don't know if the rebounding is on there, but that was a huge stat, 43-19. Wichita State shot it well. Uh, you know, your team probably a little lower than you want, but certainly that three-point mark, uh, that really hurt you at three for 18. Really did, did, Bruce, because that's a big part of our offense. So I think we're a good three-point shooting team, and we need to make some threes. But we need, I don't know that we, we got some good, but we just didn't make them. Yeah, you had a lot of good looks late, didn't you, that, that, that just didn't go in, huh? You know, Drain had two back-to-back in, in, in one set, one possession, and, and just wide open. But, you know, we came back here uh, Sunday and we made threes. Absolutely. The Hurricane taking on UCF on Senior Day. Highlights coming up next. Welcome back to the Frank Haith Show. The Golden Hurricane finishing out the regular season right here at the Rental Center, taking on UCF. And the emotional part of this coach is it's senior day, and you got five seniors. Yeah, you know, and I, just the night before I watched Duke play Carolina and all the emotions in that game, and it was senior night, and Duke, Car Duke beat Carolina by 20 at Carolina. Right. But the emotions was tough, and you just never know how your kids are going to handle it. And uh, I thought we were really tight early because of – the senior is such a big part of this team, and uh, you know, but we got we got going here in the second half where we thought I thought we started loosening up a little bit. So it's UCF against Tulsa. UCF winning the earlier meeting by nine in Orlando, and this is a nice play at the in the early moments, and you got your first basket on a on a run out. Yeah, nice pass uh, there by uh, Jariah too. Jariah is such a good passer and great vision, and obviously DJ can finish. I think he played wide receiver in uh, in high school, so DJ could could take that over the shoulder pass, right? Yeah, he looked pretty good catching that ball. <laughs> so Tulsa makes it a six to two game at that point, but now you're down eight to two, and I thought this was a big shot because you really hadn't shot the ball well to this point. Yeah, exactly, and um, you know, just needed that first one to, to go down. And then Jariah with a nice shot fake, and he went around about three guys in order to get that shot to go down, and you're kind of hanging in there down by six. Yeah, just just patience. Had good patience there, you know, uh, with his shot fakes. There's another, you know, they were pressing us, and we were able to get that ball up the sideline and get some good looks. And then you're down by 11, but now you've got a chance to cut it even further. And a good play again, just dry a horn, and you get the 50-50 ball, which is important. Yeah, as we start to, you know, and, and, and this is, um, man, this kid has really improved his game to this point where he's a, he's a threat. Um, from, from three. Yeah, made three three-pointers in the ball game. Darian Jackson would end up with a career-high 22 in the game, and that one made it an eight-point game. But again, UCF is, is running some offense, and they get the lead back up to uh, 12. Inside to Ray Idowu, 
This was a good effort, wasn't it? Yeah, just to follow his shot and, 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 and be strong in there and, uh, and go to the free throw line. So the Hurricane knocking the lead back down to 10 and 9 with the free throw. This is good sharing of the ball, isn't it? Really good sharing and, um, you know, just good ball movement uh, and finding open guys and, and good spacing. And again, you, you hope to get this from Ladavius Drain. He gets this shot to go, and anytime he can give you a three, that really opens things up. It does, it? and it just squeezing the defense, you're getting that paint touch by DJ, and just being patient, and not spitting the ball up. We we had that's such a good play. Here's a good post move by Nikita Konstantinovsky. Yeah, you know, the, the kid Reynolds he scores on the back seven footer, and just Nikita, nice. He's developed so well this year with uh, his footwork. Well, there you have the halftime score, though. UCF is up by nine. Neither team shooting especially well in the game. Uh, and uh, at this point, you know, I know you're very concerned about a nine-point deficit, but that, that's certainly not something you can, you know, that you can't overcome. No, and, and the fact is, I think we just we just need to clean up our rebounding, uh, too. Right. But Kurt, right, right there with good hands. And, and that's a nice play by Ray, giving that ball up to DJ for him to go finish. Yeah, and you talked about the rebounding. Tulsa was underwater by something like 10 at halftime, but that would that would get corrected in the second half. And that's a good play by Darian, obviously, and, and it gets you back down by, by 10 at that point. But here you are back down by 13, just battling. Yeah, and a nice play. We call that uh, quick two space and drive. We know they were switching at the end, and nice pass by Kurt and good finish. And what we're seeing here is you're back down by 13. You're trying to play defense. You're trying to hang in. But they're scoring some points, and you can't play swap out at this point in the game when you're down by double digits. No, they're, they're such a good one-on-one -on -one team. They can break you down off the bounce and create their own shot. They got a number of guys who can do that. So you got to really got to guard. Well, and then the next uh, time we see a highlight, it's Nikita Konstantinovsky with a really good hustle play. And he made some hustle plays, which I thought really kind of energized your team. Looked like he got fouled on the play, too. He did, he did. But he, he, he had a couple offensive rebounds, kept some balls alive, dove on the floor, uh, got us an extra possession. I mean, and, and, and obviously that possession, he scores. And he played uh, extremely, extremely hard. So again, you're still kind of playing swap out down by 13 at this point, and Darian Jackson again kind of, I don't want to say bails you out, but gives you a big lift with a three. Well, that's a, you know, that's a, you know, quick two twists. I mean, that's a play we run and roll up. You just got to make shots, and DJ's able to make that shot now. Speaking of making shots, this young man had not made a shot all game long, and Sam Griffin gets it going with about eight minutes to go, and you're down by seven. Huge lift. It was, I and mean, that was the same play we ran for Jariah, but now just. They didn't switch out, so Sam gets a shot. So here's Jariah, and how'd he get that one in? Man. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of contact in there, but uh, he finished that. So he's able to knock that lead but down a little bit, but now, as you see, the lead is back up to eight. But then that three-pointer actually gets it down to eight at that point, or gets it down to five, five. at that point, yeah. And then we get this rebound, and DJ uh, finishes between the two guys here to cut it to, to, to three. Right, so now it's 64-61, three and a half minutes to play, you're really in the fight now. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, they, they, they go back up five here, and uh, now Sam looks like Sam of old, you know, uh, with a little confidence and, and uh, you know, playing, playing the game where he's capable of playing it. Now we go down the back stretch again. You see UCF up by three, and that fadeaway tough shot by Perry. But now you're down by five, and you have just eight and a half seconds to go. And the eight and a half seconds took a very long time, but you know you don't have the comeback without that shot. No, and it started. You know we wanted to get a, a quick, quick, quick bucket, and we would have taken a two or three. But obviously Sam was able to hit a three, and uh, you know we foul quickly, put him on the line. He makes the first one. Boy, that was hit every part of the rim. The second one in and out, and now you got the defensive rebound. You got to call a quick timeout now. Look how much time you have. Yeah. They put 4.3 on the. Thing. And you know they fouled Sam right away there. Huh? Yeah, and we were, we were, we called timeout right away because we want, we'd rather set up a play than hold it, throw a heave. And uh, Sam was supposed to miss that second. He one. intended to miss it. Look at he yeah. bends over, going, "How did I make that?" Yeah. So here we go down the back stretch. You get the foul. You have 2.8 seconds to go. And how about this? Oh man, it's something. I mean, um, I'm so happy for the kid, for the, uh, for the players, and and Drya and. Um, and all our seniors to, 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 to leave on a, on a winning note. Yeah, what a play. 
and that was all over Sports Center and all over social media and that sort of thing. What a what a huge play! What a great way to finish for those five seniors, especially Jariah Horn. And there you see uh, some of the numbers, but uh, you know the numbers don't mean a whole lot unless you get that half court shot that goes in at the end because that was that was huge. And you know what? The guys kind of. They kind of jack around at the end of practice a lot, shooting half-court shots, right. but there's something about that. I mean, it is. You know? It is. I know he and Pritch do it all the time, and uh, uh, there is something about that. And I, I think that those guys, you know, we used to went, used to in the past, we would, you know, line them all up and let them do it. So, but uh, what a great finish. Yeah, absolutely. Jariah Horn with the buzzer beater and the Hurricane victorious in the final regular season game, and now it's postseason. We'll talk about that in just a little bit on the Frank Hayes Show. Welcome back to the Frank Haith Show. It obviously was a huge emotional victory for Tulsa, 73-72 on Sunday, but it was also emotional because it was senior day, Coach, and five seniors, what did those guys mean to you? Well, you know, first of all, we, they're all high character uh, guys, and, and they do leave here with some hardware already, and that's their degrees, and that's what you want. Um, I'm very proud of each and every one of those guys. Drain was only here one year with us, but you know, he, he epitomized what we were all about here at Tulsa. Uh, and Ray and Kurt were transfers in, uh, and they've, you've seen them guys grow, but obviously Jariah, uh, four years here, Darren, five years, uh, you know, they're, they're just special young men and uh, just a proud to be a part of their lives. And here's a look back now at the ceremonies at the Rental Center on Senior Day here at TU. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Senior Day, where we're excited to recognize the careers of five of our Tulsa basketball senior student athletes. Our first senior is a graduate transfer from Southern Miss at Tulsa. Ladavius Drain has scored in double digits three times with a season high 12 points and has averaged 3.4 points in his only season with the Golden Hurricane. He's working on a second degree in organizational studies. Please welcome number 31, Latavius Dre. Our next senior spent two seasons on the Tulsa roster after transferring from Illinois State. In 51 games at Tulsa, Ray Itawu has averaged 7.9 points and 4.1 rebounds while scoring in double figures eight times. Ray will receive his degree in business administration this May. Please welcome number 25, Ray Itowu. Our next senior spent the last three seasons at Tulsa after transferring from Georgia Tech. Curtis Haywood has 13 career double figure scoring games and had a career high 18 points last year at SMU. He'll receive his degree in organizational studies with a minor in sports management this May. Welcome number zero, Curtis Haywood II. In five collegiate seasons, Jariah Horn has scored more than 1,500 career points, including 1,138 points in three years in his Tulsa uniform. His 16-point scoring average and 6.7 rebounds per game lead the Golden Hurricane this season and at a career-high 30 points and 12 rebounds this year. He's working on a second degree in exercise and sports science. Please welcome number 41, Jariah Horn. Our final senior today, Darian Jackson, returned for a fifth year and will be making his 127th career game appearance tonight. He scored 796 points, has 325 rebounds, 199 assists, and 127 steals in his career. He received his bachelor's degree last May in arts, culture, and entertainment management, and is currently working on a minor in visual arts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome number 11, Darian Jackson. We're back on the Frank Hayes Show, and Coach, as we take a look at the bracket, really the only thing you're focusing in on is is the second game on Thursday against Wichita State, right? Exactly. I mean, you know, and it's a team that we, we, we it should be fresh on our minds. We just played them. Um, you, know, um, you know, we've had two tough games with them, and I think, you know, there's two things we got to be able to do. we gotta, we got to figure out how we're going to keep them guys out of the lane from driving on us, and then we got to do a good job on Udesi. He's been a problem with us, for us, those two games, and... Uh, 
But, um, you know, it's postseason. Everything's – the slate's clean, and, you know, you're seeing upsets all over. I saw Kentucky women's basketball win the SEC championship. Right. And they started out so uh, slow in their, their regular season, but they won like nine in a row or something. But it, that's that time of year. And, uh, um, you know, why not us? Yeah, why not you? And if you win, you take on SMU the next day, and there is the day-to-day -day nature of a tournament. you got to be ready to play every day, don't you? You do, and uh, you have to have great mindset. And I think these guys are excited about what's ahead of them. You know, But right now, we're only focused on Wichita State. And uh, you, don't, you don't get to that second one unless you take care of business in that first one. All right, Coach, have a great week in Fort Worth. Thank you. Appreciate you. That is the head coach of the Golden Hurricane, Frank Hayes. So long for now.